Hi, I'm Art Horn, and you're watching NLC Live. Today, we're going to be reading uh, Jeremiah 29, 13. It says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Well, what does that mean? There is a command that we are to obey. We are to seek God wholeheartedly. What does that mean? Well, I like to read a devotion. It's uh, 52 uh, Hebrew words that every Christian should know, and it's by Dave Adamson. And today I was reading, and there's a Hebrew word called kavona. And that word kavona means sincere intentionality. Uh, and so it's talking about we are to be sincerely seeking God and recognizing God's presence, acknowledging that we are in the presence of God every moment of our day. That's what that means. So there is a command, seek God wholeheartedly. Uh, my wife and I, we have a phrase around our house that we say, seek him in everything. So Jesus needs to be the center of all of our uh, business, all of our spending, all of our uh, way that we handle our money, uh, the way that we treat others, also our close relationships. Uh, Jesus needs to be the center of those. Are you thinking about that? Um, you know, your top five relationships, your top five closest friends. I've had a man tell me one time that uh, look at your top five friends and I can tell you your future. You'll be the average of those top five friends. So that's a very important part where you need Jesus and his guidance, isn't it? So we change our thinking. Uh, we are aware of God's presence. Uh, we take the focus off of ourselves and we put it on God. Remember that Jesus is Emmanuel. I mean, we're entering into the Christmas season. Golly, I can't hardly believe that. But uh, we're entering the Christmas season, and, and season, and uh, when the angel came to Mary, he says he'll be Emmanuel, God with us. And so uh, that's the the command. The promise is, if you seek God wholeheartedly, you'll find Him. And when you find Jesus, you found it all. Uh, he will. He is the treasure above all treasures. And not only is he the King of kings, Lord of lords, but he is your wisdom. Uh, we have the mind of Christ. Uh, he gives you ability to have favor. Uh, he, he gives you blessing upon blessing. And he gives you grace. Uh, when you fail, you go to him and say, I'm sorry. He restores you uh, to his uh, relationship with him. It's beautiful. And so when you find Christ, you find it all. And there is a sin to avoid in this passage, and I think it's implied. We, we need to make sure that we're not disciples in name only. We need to believe that we are disciples in our heart. Uh, the very core of who you are is a disciple of Jesus. You're willing to lay your life down, and that means everything you want and desire, you're willing to lay that down in order to take Christ as Lord. So that's the sin to avoid is that um, ignoring Christ in your day-to-day -day activities, ignoring Jesus in your relationships, um, that's the sin to avoid. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you that you're a Jehovah Shammah. You are always present. You never leave us or forsake us. Uh, Father, we thank you that you are such a good Father. You're such a good God. You love us, and we're grateful for your presence. Help us, Father. Um, and help us to always acknowledge you in everything that we do and to remember that you're with us always. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless you guys. <music>